I'll be honest with you, MagSafe grips are awesome. I've taken the challenge of testing not 10, not 20, but over 30 of these bad boys to bring you, well, the ultimate top 10 list. Remember, we're reviewers, not influencers, so you just get raw, unbiased reviews. Shall we begin, puppy? Number 10 belongs to the ESR Halo Lock Ring Stand. This is one of the two ring style grips that made it to the top 10. And what's unique about this product is that it's got a double ring setup, which gives you the ability to put the iPhone in portrait mode, as well as landscape mode. Another benefit of this double ring setup is that it's a little more comfortable on your fingers. These products hurt my fingers. This product doesn't hurt my fingers as much. This grip has a nice brushed aluminum finish, so it doesn't show wear and tear much, which is something I can't say for some of these other products. Last thing I will note is that you can't really access this thing with one hand. It's kind of a two-handed operation thing to get everything out and about. So yeah, keep that in mind. Number nine goes to this guy, the Case Defy Grip Stand. I told you guys in that review, this was gonna hit the top 10. If you're a fidgety person, this snapping uh, motion is really gonna help you with your fidgety fingers. This is more of a sandwich style type of grip as your fingers are sandwiched between the top and the bottom of the grip. So as a grip, it's way more comfortable because the weight of the iPhone is spread across two fingers instead of like one knuckle. Trying to use this thing with one hand is a little annoying. The grip can be used in both landscape and a really shallow portrait mode. Like this isn't too bad. The grips start off with a glossy finish, but as you can tell, my pockets apparently are lined with sandpaper. Last thing I'll say about this product is there are a ton of designs to choose from. All right, this is number eight, the Rhino Shield Grip Max. Now this was one of the best grips I used last year. I changed my scoring system a little bit, but it's still in the top 10. It's still really good, but there are some companies that have produced better products. Now there are two things I like about this product. First is that the weight of the iPhone is distributed across multiple like it's like fingers. A full, like it's a, almost a full hand solution for you. The second thing is that there is a ton of designs and you can load photos onto them as well. Funny story, this is a Grip Mini. Uh, they don't make MagSafe versions of it, so I was trying to find a bigger version. So I loaded my logo into their website and it said I couldn't use it because I wasn't allowed to use that picture. My logo. This Grip can work in landscape mode as well as portrait mode, which is handy. Now my biggest issue with this product is the magnetic attachment strength. It's a little weaker. Here's a hack if you're planning on getting this thing, spray the back with a bit of adhesive. The removable stuff, not permanent stuff, so that when it goes on the back of your iPhone, there's a bit more tack to it, and they'll stay on way better. Number seven is, well, this thing. This is the Casemate Magnetic Loop Grip. Now, in my search for phone grips, I came across this thing, and I looked at it, and I was like, this is not a good product, but it made the top 10 list. It's a little short on features, such as, you know, using it as a stand, but it's a very simple, usable, functional grip. There is, like, no fan dangling like you have to do with the double ring anchor product. You see the hole, you take your appendage, and you put it in. I will say that the width of the grip is a little too thin for extended usage. You only get about maybe 15 minutes before your fingers start to kind of ache. But hey, compromises, so what are you gonna do? Last thing I will note is that because it's rubber, it doesn't let your iPhone slide around much. But your iPhone also isn't gonna be level. Now for this video, I rank each grip against 16 different criteria, which includes stand modes, MagSafe compatibility, comfort, customization, durability, protection, weight, price, magnetic strength, and well, are there any extras? The 10 grips in this video are the ones that perform well across all categories. Now, if there's a specific use case that you're looking for, um, let me know in the comments section and I'll see if I can answer that for you. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer, so no one is paying me to make this top 10 video. So if you like unbiased content, well, support me by getting all your stuff through my links in the description section below. All right, let's keep going. This was number seven. Let's go talk about number six, which is this weird thing. What? This is the encased grip and it's the funniest looking grip I have. But here's a secret. I've been using this almost on a daily basis. It doesn't look like it, but this is one of the most comfortable grips you can get. Why? because you're really not gripping your hand. It just kind of sits on your hand and your hand is relaxed. With the majority of these grips, your hand is always like in tension. You're always either like trying to leverage your fingers against the grip or pushing against the phone. With this encase thing, you, you don't have to do that. There's a rigid center column and so all the weight just kind of sits there. It is very pop socket-esque. Honestly, if I stop being a reviewer, this is one of the very few products I would actually take with me. The only downside, and you just witnessed it, is that this thing is just really awkward. You're not putting this in your pocket. And if you do, you're gonna look weird. This thing is almost like a guilty pleasure. <laughs> All right, we go from being a little girthy to being incredibly slim with this Andable grip. This is the highest ring style grip in my video. Now the ring isn't very comfortable for long periods of time because you've got the guillotine effect on your fingers, but your iPhone isn't coming off of this. Like the magnetic strength for this product is one of the strongest out of the 30 that I've tested. There's a rubber ring right here. So when you put it 
on a flat surface, it doesn't slide around. And look how level that is. The thing I like most about this product is that there's another set of magnets on the outside of the grip. So you could use this with a non-charging car mount, a wallet if you really wanted to. There's a bunch of extras that's included in this box, which is another set of rings, so you could stick it on a non-MagSafe iPhone or Android if you really wanted to. So all in all, this is just a very well-built, well-thought-out design. All right, let's talk about number four, which is this thing. This is the ESR Halo Lock Geo Wallet. If you haven't seen it, this wallet does make the top 10 in my uh, MagSafe wallet roundup, so do check that out if you want to know how good it is. This thing can hold two to three cards. It can function as a grip, obviously, but also has a hinge so that you can set your iPhone up in a multitude of different ways. The finger strap is quite wide, so your fingers are gonna not get fatigued as quickly as like a ring one. Like check out the size difference between the casemate and this thing. So much wider. The last benefit I'll mention about this product is that it comes with a uh, Find My baked into it. So yeah, you still have to kind of charge it every once in a while, but like this is like the Swiss army knife of uh, MagSafe accessories right here. The one problem I do have with this product is just how heavy it is. The average grip weighs about 45 grams. This thing is 82. So that's like 30 to 40% extra weight compared to like a smaller iPhone. Guess you could use this for arm day. Hey Monty, do you want a greenie? Oh no, we're out. Just a friendly reminder, if you're gonna get your stuff, use our links, support the channel so that we can get Monty more greenies. Number three goes to Anchor. They've got two grips, the 610 and the 620. The 610, terrible. The 620, it's a little awkward, but very functional. This thing kind of looks like a watch strap for your iPhone. Kind of the same idea, you just snap it on like that. Now, I initially didn't think this was a good product, but after using it, it's actually really comfortable. It can double as a stand in landscape mode. Portrait mode's a little weak, but you know, it's, it's, it could be done. Your iPhone isn't gonna slide around with this thing. But the standard feature for this product is that there's a set of magnets on the back of it, so you can mount it on your fridge, whiteboards, or even gym racks. Yes, I know this is aimed at a really niche market, but I found it to be very useful. One might assume that this thing is very bulky, but here, let me show you. So you're putting your iPhone in your pockets, your hand is naturally there, and it's keeping the thing from touching your pants. If that wasn't enough, this is 20 bucks, which is a bargain, considering the additional features it has. The number two phone grip in my top 10 list, is actually a case. This is the Otter Grip. Now, initially I wasn't very impressed with this product, but it's really grown on me. Now, as a case, the back is just way too slick. But as a phone grip, it's incredibly useful. This thing isn't super comfortable. It's a little more comfortable than a ring grip, but nothing compared to like, you know, the encased thing. Accessing the grip is a little awkward because you gotta dig your fingers into these two holes and pull up. It's not great as a stand. It's doable. There we go. But this is the only grip that I've seen that allows you to use all your MagSafe accessories, including the charging ones. You basically have the benefit of a grip that allows you to use other MagSafe accessories. It's like a MagSafe MagSafe accessory. Again, the biggest bummer is you just saw not being able to use it as a stand, but you can always just get one of these. And yeah, look at that, double grip. This thing isn't too bad at $42. It's a steal of a deal, I think. All right, and the best phone grip that you can get is this thing and this thing. Pop grip round or the pop grip. Now I'm lumping both these products together. This round scores a little higher than the pop grip. Just to give you an idea, this is actually number four in the list, but I want to give you guys more options. So yeah, that's just what I did. This pop grip round has one of the smallest footprints for a phone grip. This thing is incredibly easy to use with one hand and it's a pop socket. So you know it's gonna be insanely comfortable. It adds even less weight than the pop grip. So your iPhone, you're not gonna get as fatigued as quickly. And the only thing it's missing is some sort of portrait stand mode. You can use it landscape wise easily, but not portrait. And your iPhone's gonna spin like a top and slide around like an air hockey puck. So that's all I got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. Again, reviewer, not influencer. So get your stuff through my links. First time watching my videos, hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button so that every single time Monty shows up on the internet, you get notified.